you might be learning to code all wrong. In today's video, we're going to talk about best learning strategies for programmers. If you're new to this channel, I talk about how I transitioned into software engineering late in my life. And if this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. Hey guys, there's so many questions about how to learn, how much to learn, why can't I remember stuff, I'm stuck in tutorial hell. But the truth is the answer to your questions is much more complex because everybody learns differently. One thing that I could say, if you don't have a system for learning, it will be really hard to accomplish any of your goals. So today's video, I'm going to talk about the strategy that I have used and continue to use to continue to grow as a developer. So if you've been cramming and feel like you're not getting anywhere, this video is for you. The most important thing that you guys have to understand that it's not the quantity of your studying, but the quality of your study session. Let me tell you what I mean by this. Of course, you could spend 10 hours watching a tutorial, but if you don't practice any of the stuff you're learning, are you really learning anything? And also is 10 hours a good amount of time? Like just cause you can watch something for 10 hours, how does it affect you from being able to recall or actually think about what you're learning? As the material gets more complex, if the stuff that you learned before is not making sense, you're just going to be lost. So for me, I literally set the clock for 50 minutes and I just spent 50 minutes studying and then I take a 10 minute breaks. So I do everything in blocks of time. So I'm not saying that there are no days where I spend three to four hours of studying. Yes, I can, but I still do it in 50 minute increments and I always walk away from my computer and take a 10 minute break. Also, by setting constraints for your study, you have to be very mindful of what you do in that 50 minutes. So watching a tutorial for 50 minutes is not the best use of your time because in order to have the best ability to learn something, especially if it's new, you have to make sure not only understand it conceptually, but you also have to proactively try the thing out so you get experience using what you have learned. The basic steps that I always follow is learn, apply, review, and repeat learn, apply, review, and repeat. And I'll give you some examples of that in just a second, exactly how I do it. But you have to understand that learning to program or learning to code is a skill that you need to acquire and acquiring skill takes time. So you cannot rush through it. You cannot cram through it. And this is something that took me forever to understand. And knowing what I know now, I much rather do very specific focused learning session than just spending two, three hours watching tutorial on YouTube and passively observing it and not actively participating in my learning. But before I get into my strategy in detail, what should you be able to accomplish in your learning session? Number one, you should at least go over what you're going to learn and conceptually see if you understand what you're being asked to do. Number two, you should practice recollecting, even if it's a small example or small part, you should be able to turn off the tutorial and try the thing out and see if you could do it on your own. And if you can't, that just means you're not ready to move on. And how many of us go ahead and copy what the instructor did and then we just move on to the next section. You have to understand that when you watch a tutorial and then you pause every minute or so and you write down everything that the instructor did, you're not learning. You're just copying down what the instructor told you. So what you have to do is actively force yourself to make sure that you're doing the work. So obviously there are no cookie cutter approach. Everybody learns differently. That's so I recommend reading books on learning, but let me walk you through the way I do it. So when I start and I'm going to use a tutorial, it could be a new to me, it could be whatever you want, but I'm going to use like a tutorial video as an example. So the first thing I do is I'll watch the first video from start to finish. I am not going to write. I am not going to code. I'm just going to watch the conceptual parts of the video and I'm going to just in my mind prepare myself for what's to come. So let's say they're talking about how to fetch data using Axios. What I'm going to do, I'm not just going to follow along with the video. I'm going to watch it from start to finish. Most of those tutorial videos, they're about five to six minutes. It's something that we could all pay attention to. 
So once I finish watching the video, I take a small pause and I try to, in my mind, recollect what did we discuss? What did we do? Then I will go to the beginning of the video. Now I have a mental outline of what to expect. And then I'll go through the video again, watching it and following along with the instructor. I'm going to type the code. I might not remember all the code, which is fine, but I am able to see what the instructor is doing. I'm able to follow along with the instructor. And because I already watched the video once, a lot of that stuff is a repetition for me and it's much easier to follow. Once I finish the lesson, what I do is I pause and I look at the code that I wrote and I try to go line by line and see if I understand understand what the instructor was asking me to do and why I wrote that code. If there's something that I don't understand, even though I wrote it and it might work in my code editor, I don't move on. I'll go and review the video again. I'll watch it again because I want to make sure that I really force myself not to continue to the next part if the stuff that I'm learning right now, I can't understand. Once I review the code, the final step and one of the most important steps is I turn off the tutorial. I open up CodePen or any of those equivalent things that allow you to try code out and I try to recreate that same example from memory and if I do get stuck I don't go back to the tutorial right away because I kind of know what I want to achieve because I just watched the video so instead I will google for instance I use the fetch example with Axios I'll be like oh well how do you use Axios to fetch data and then I will read other supplementary materials to help me to make connections from what I'm learning from the tutorial to finding the answer for for myself and if I'm still stuck I will reference the code that I wrote before to make sure that any part that I missed I clarify my understanding and continue. Once I create that example in CodePen, what I'm going to do is again, go over the code and review. And if I still feel I'm not sure what's going on, I'll go back and rewatch that first tutorial video. So to you guys, this might seem like, man, this is gonna take you way too long. And it will definitely take longer than just watching the video straight through. But if you think about what I just asked you to do, how many times have you went over the same information and and practice this idea of repetition because through repetition you're going to solidify the knowledge that you're gaining and you're going to better understand what you're doing and this is very important is this idea of pacing your learning and not rushing through what you're learning because at the end of the day you want to make sure that you're progressing on a pace where you're able to maintain the information you're learning and when I first started out I thought that number of tutorials I took and finished was the thing that that's going to dictate how much I learn. But the truth is after 20 tutorials, if you rush through them, you might have the project, but going back to the code two weeks from the first time you took it, you might not have any idea what you wrote and that's what you want to prevent. And you prevent that by moving slow, making sure that you watch the video first, you do the conceptual practice. Second, you try it along with the instructor. Third, you practice doing active learning where you try to recreate collect what you did outside of the course environment, open up another code pen and see if you could recreate that same example that you just learned about. And if you get stuck, search on Google, Stack Overflow, plenty of articles, then come back, make sure that you review your code and you get it to work. If you're still stuck, review that same video that you watched with the instructor, but don't move forward. And once you complete that example in code pen, what's awesome, not only do you have the material that you're working in in the course, because you could always come back to the course but now you also have an example in CodePen that you could also review and the difference between following along and copying what the instructor doing and then pausing and going to CodePen and try to recreate that example yourself you're practicing the most important skill that you have which is your ability to do the work yourself you need to practice your ability recalling what you learn and applying programming is very hard there's a lot of concepts you have to learn and if you just just watch and think that learning conceptual stuff and programming is going to help you, that's not enough. You also have to do the doing. So what I like to say, spend 
30% of your time learning the concept, but then spend the other 70% making sure you're actually doing and trying the stuff on your own. Because through failure, through stumbling through your own code, you're going to improve as a developer faster. So in the strategy, which seems that it's going to take you much longer, if you look at where you are going to be a month from now, two months from now, you're actually going to make way more progress. And this is the approach that I still do to this day because it works really, really well. I kind of got over my insecurities and my ego where I need to go through the course as fast as I can. I slow things down. I make sure that I am very mindful of what I'm doing and I make sure that I don't skip these steps of learning, applying and reviewing and then repeating. So anyway, if you guys like this video or confused about anything I said, let me know in the comments. I will definitely answer all your questions. By the way, if you're new to the channel and really like what I do here, consider subscribing. And with that being said, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys later.